Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to be using a bunch of unique products that were sent to me by a lovely lady. I will leave the link to her unique page down below. I'm not really sure what it's called. So this is just going to be my review on the products, what I think about them, and just doing a whole face of makeup with it. So to start out, I'm using the Glorious Face and Eye Makeup Primer, and I've been using this for a couple of days now, and let me tell you, I am obsessed with it. I don't know why this has not been really talked about, like I've never heard anybody mention it really before, but this stuff feels so good, good on the skin. It's so soft, so smooth. And I feel like it really does make your makeup last. So I am rubbing it in, but I'm also going to be pressing it in. Okay, so now for the face, I'm going to be using the Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in the shade Velour. But it is a little bit too light for my skin tone. She matched it to when I wasn't fake tanned. And so I'm going to be mixing it with the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation in Golden Tan. And I've also been doing this for a couple of days, and I think it's a really good combination. Just got to shake it up. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit watery. And she also sent me their liquid foundation brush, and I'm going to be using, whoop, <laughs> I'm just going to be dipping the brush in it and applying that to my face. If you see me looking down, it's because my mirror is down there. <laughs> Overall, I think the foundation has a really good coverage. Okay, so this is the one layer on my face, but I'm just going to go and apply a second layer. Okay, and now I'm going to go with the Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer in organza and I'm just gonna apply just a little bit because I've noticed that this product goes a long way you don't need a lot and I'm just gonna apply a little bit here and there and in this one piece of hair though it's a little and in the areas that I want to highlight and I'm gonna be I'm gonna blend it out with a little beauty blender So she didn't send me a product to contour with. There might be an eyeshadow in there that could be suitable for contouring with, but I'm just going to use the Revlon Suntan or Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder and Suntan Matte and just bronze my skin up a little bit. And now I'm using the blusher powder in Seductive. It's a really pretty color, I think. For the most part, I use blushes that are more like dark, kind of more bronzy blushes, but this one is a nice rosy color, and I think it's really pretty. And as far as the blending out goes, I'm using the Lexi Large Angled Brush. It's the number 504, and it seems to be blending out fine without powder on top of my foundation. Okay, and she sent me a cream eyeshadow, and it is in the shade Elegant. So let's get it out and see what it looks like. Ooh, that is really pretty. I don't know if it came melted like that or if it was just like the way the drip over here or not. I'm just going to use what's in the lid. I'm just going to pick it up with my finger. Whoa, that's a lot. It's really moussey. Oh, it's pretty. Hang on. You don't need a lot of it. It is really moussey, so it's not like a normal cream eyeshadow where you kind of have to rub it a little bit. This is literally a mousse. Okay, I'm actually going to use this to highlight with too. Just going to do a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, next I'm going to be using this, oh, there's a hair on my brush. Next I'm going to be using this matte powder, and it is in the shade Irresistible. I'm just going to tip my blending brush into here. I don't know if this is how, like, all the eyeshadows come, or if it's just, like, because it's sample packs or something. But I don't know really how to get it out of there without wasting the product. So, just going to dip it in there and put that into my crease. Something that I've noticed, these eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. They blend really nicely. And um, especially the shimmer shadows, they are so pigmented. It is crazy. I'll put one on here in a second and show you. Okay, and this is the this is the shimmer powder, and it is in the shade Angelic. It looks kind of yellow toned in the package, but in once you put it on, it looks more kind of white. Oh my god. And remember, this is on top of that cream eyeshadow. But do you see this? How beautiful that is. And that is literally just one little dab. So pretty. But I am just going to blend it out just a little bit. It might take away a little bit of the powder. Vader! 
but um, that's okay. I don't want it too intense. I want it this to be more like a natural kind of look. And then next we have the Precision Liquid Liner in Perfect. I really like it because it has a very thin felt tip and most felt tip liners are really, really thick. Like, like the Jordana Fabi Liner, it's really nice, but it has a really, really thick tip on it so it's a little bit hard to get more precise. This one makes it really easy. The only thing is the color is a little bit more gray tone than just a true black. And before I finish off my mascara, I'm just going to be using this Lip Bun Bun in the shade Red Velvet Cake. I have been using this over the weekend actually. It's a lip tint, I think is just what it's called. It obviously doesn't last all day. It's just supposed to be a lip tint, but it re feels really moisturizing. It doesn't feel drying to the lips or anything like that. And now onto the mascara. I have to say, out of the entire everything to do that I got sent unique products, this is the only thing I don't like. And I didn't like it when it first came out, like when it was in like the little black package thing, eyeglasses case. And I don't know if it's just my eyes being so small, them squinting so much when I smile, that kind of thing. I, I don't really know what the problem is. I don't know if I'm applying it wrong, but I get terrible, terrible fallout from it. I do what the directions say. I use the trend or the gel transplant first and then I use the fibers after it and then I go back in there and set it with this but they fall out onto my face all down through here and they get trapped in my eyes and they actually like poke my eyes and hurt me really bad so and like my eyes get really irritated and dry and I never have like sen problem with sensitive eyes or anything like that so I don't know what that's about <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the purpose of the video nicking myself. Ah, this wand is so big. And last but not least, I'm just going to go in and touch my brows up a little bit. I had them done earlier, but I'm just going to touch my eyebrows up. Okay, so that is my finished look and my review on these products. I gave my total honest opinion. Overall, I think that they've got a great range of, you know, they've got shadows, everything from mascara, foundation, concealer, to mm -hmm. blushes, to brow pencils and I think that makes for a great makeup line. So I think that it can replace all makeup ever and that you can only use Unique for the rest of your life. If that's what you like, yes, but in my opinion there are, you know, better mascaras out there because that one just does not work for me. But if this is something that you like, if this is something that you sell, go for it because I think it is a great brand. I think that the foundation works nicely. I think the concealer is really nice. I think the eyeshadows are awesome. That's probably my favorite thing. Except for the primer. I really love the primer. I don't know why nobody talks about this primer. Another thing is that I find with most of the unique products, you get a more natural look than you would with your every, everyday kind of full coverage foundation or your blush, your bronzer, your powder, and even for the eyes. Like I feel like my eyes are very natural looking. I didn't put any on my lower lash line, especially on my lower lashes. I cannot put that mascara on the lower lashes whatsoever. Like it will. No, I, they do not need to be any longer. They'll be like flaking all the way down through here. So that's why I, my lower lash line kind of looks a little bit bare, but I feel like the whole look is very natural looking as far as your skin. It makes you look like your skin. It doesn't make you look caked up and it doesn't even feel cakey. And that's a, that's a plus if that's something that you're going for. But if you're going for a really full coverage look or if you're going for makeup artistry, I don't think this is the line for you. I feel like this is something that the everyday girl could use in their life. Like this is really good stuff and it does really nicely. Overall, I do love the brand and all the products that I got except for that mascara. Man, I wish I liked that mascara because I think it's awesome that I can have extended lashes with fibers and not have to put false lashes on, but it just hurts. <laughs> but that is all. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a great day and God bless.